Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Pat Roberts. I have the privilege of representing the people of the state of Kansas. And as chairman of the Senate Agriculture Committee, uh, I am speaking on behalf of so many farmers and ranchers and people throughout uh, rural and small town America. We've been going through a real rough patch here these days. We're delighted to have our champion, uh, Bob Lighthouser, who uh, has been such a wonderful uh, experienced person to come to this job. Uh, he worked for 15 years with my mentor and my, uh, my dear, dear friend, uh, Senator Bob Dole. Uh, Senator, thank you. Thank you for that. <clears throat> this is not my teleprompter. Uh, at any rate, uh, I also want to say a, a debt of thanks to the President. After a meeting with uh, President Xi, he uh, has worked out an agreement for the first time in 13 years for trade with China. I, you just cannot imagine that market and what it will do again for rural and small and small town America. Uh, I think at this point, uh, I should yield to the distinguished uh, Vice President of the United States, uh, the Vice President. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Senator, and to all of our honored guests, good afternoon. On behalf of the President of the United States, today it will be my great privilege to administer the oath of office to the 18th United States Trade Representative, Robert Lighthizer. And with this ceremony, President Donald Trump's cabinet is finally complete. Thank you. This is a special occasion. It's an honor to have with us a couple of people very special to Bob Lighthizer and very special to the American people. First off, join me in welcoming his daughter Claire, his son Bob Jr. And uh, Bob Jr. has his family with us as well, including, including two of uh, his dad's grandchildren, Penelope and Emmett are with us today. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> I'm great to be, for, to be joined by a friend and a colleague of so many years of our new U.S. Trade Representative, Senator pa Pat Roberts. Thank you for your great leadership for the people of Kansas. And I must tell you, though I could tell by the response of this crowd just a few moments ago, it is always an honor to be with Senator Bob Dole, one of the greatest Americans of the last century. <laughs> to hear Bob Lighthizer tell it, he learned everything that he knows from Bob Dole, <laughs> serving with him for uh, nearly a decade and a half in his Senate office. And Senator, it's uh, great to see you here and we're honored by your presence. You know, President Donald Trump made a promise to the American people to fight for trade that puts America first. And in choosing Robert Lighthizer as the U.S. Trade Representative, President Trump is keeping his promise to put America first. Robert Lighthizer is uniquely qualified for this vital role because he's frankly one of the leading experts on trade in all of America. Uh, Bob's distinguished career stretches back to the 1970s. He worked as a lawyer in private practice before joining the Senate Committee on Finance, where he eventually rose to serve as chief counsel and staff director. As his reputation grew, President Ronald Reagan took notice. In 1983, the president named him as the deputy U.S. Trade Representative. In this capacity, he directly contributed to the renewed growth and prosperity of that era by negotiating more than two dozen bilateral trade agreements with nations all across the wider world. For the past 30 years, Robert has represented 
the American businesses that are the beating heart of our economy as a trade litigator, from manufacturing to agriculture, high tech to financial services. And Robert Lighthizer has distinguished himself as a tireless defender of America's workers and America's future, and now he'll be doing it for the United States of America. Robert, President Trump has now called on you to bring your extraordinary career and considerable talents to help us restore trade that is both free and fair. It benefits the American people above all else. Given your experience, your integrity, and your unwavering commitment to promoting America's interests and protecting the economic prosperity of the American people, President Trump and I are confident that with you as the United States Trade Representative, we will continue to restore opportunity and prosperity for working Americans for generations to come, and we will make America prosperous again. So, on behalf of President Donald Trump, it is now my, my great privilege to administer to you the oath of office. So place your left hand on the Bible, step in front of the flags. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Trade Representative, Bob Lighthizer. Thank you so much, Mr. Vice President. Thank you for doing me the honor of being here today. It's a, it's a, it's a great privilege to be in this administration, but to have the Vice President administer the oath is a special, a special privilege. Um, and I would I'd like to thank you for all you do, including particularly Thursday's speech, which I thought was quite meaningful and, and, and very important. Uh, I would like to, uh, to thank the chairman of the, the Agriculture Committee, Senator Roberts, who's really important because he's on the Finance Committee, however. <laughs> uh, and, and I'd like to thank uh, Secretary Ross, who was here, but mostly Senator Dole, who I... Uh, when I had my hearing, I said, you know, I wouldn't be here but for you. And he said, no, no, no. I said, people say that, but it's in fact true this time. <laughs> so you're, you're a, a great American and a great mentor, and, uh, and I'm blessed to have you as a friend. Um, my close friends, uh, many of whom are here today, know that I read a lot of history, and particularly presidential history. And I believe that when all the dust of partisan vitriol has settled, and serious people provide thoughtful analysis the Trump administration will be ranked as one of the greatest in American history. I am grateful to have been asked by the president to serve him on this very important issue of international trade. I further believe that when my grandchildren who are here today talk to their grandchildren, they will say that President Trump permanently reversed the dangerous trajectory of American trade, put America first, made our farmers, 
ranchers and workers richer and the country safer. And I hope I can make some small contribution to that accomplishment. Thank you all very much for being here. I'm very grateful for your friendship. Thank you. Thank you all.